Hi, this is Roland from Email Hippo and today I'm going to do a video to answer a question we get quite a lot from uh, customers and the question is <clears throat> do you offer client-side integration for your email validation API and the answer that we give is we do not and the, the reason is uh, because it's a uh, security problem. Uh, I'm going to go into some of the reasons uh, how and why uh, it's a security problem uh, but I guess the, the headline uh, on this is that uh, prior to email hippo we, we did a lot of engineering with uh, email validation for our former partners and, uh, and affiliates and uh, a lot of the competitors that you currently see out there in uh, towards the end of 2017 when this visit video is made uh, are still using a lot of the um, uh, the engineering that we we contributed and were involved in in the early days um, from 2010 through to 2015 uh, and those endpoints those APIs have not changed uh, since since that time uh, so we are in a position to talk a little bit about um, the other options out there and some of the you know some of the considerations that you may want to think about if you are thinking about uh, implementing client-side API integration for uh, the email validation services uh, so without further ado uh, on the screen you can see uh, a demonstration box for one of our competitors and um, let's just go through this really really quickly so this is this is designed to give you a demonstration of uh, how the how the API works and it uses client-side um, script so for the non-technical people uh, client-side script means that it, everything runs on the on the browser there's no there's no need to have a um, you know pages and applications hosted on servers you could run this uh, in theory locally on your on your on your workstation. Let's just have a look. Uh, so I'm going to do test at gmail.com, and it comes back. And you'll notice that it's come back really, really quickly, and that's a good thing. Um, the if I look if I look at the code behind here, uh, then what I what I what I, what I can tell you is that uh, the API that's being accessed uh, is this one here. Um, there it is, and I can actually I can actually put that email address into that API. Uh, hit return. The message, the provided license key is not valid, um, which is very true because the way that this is secured is by using um, what's called a domain access control list, uh, and that means that um, queries can only be issued. Uh, from this particular domain up here and it will get validated uh, on the email ver verification provider uh, and it will say yes or no you can proceed or not. The other way of doing it is with a license key. Um, th these are sort of the basic uh, integration options that are available for many providers. Um, that is also insecure in that the license key can be obtained from looking in the uh, looking in the HTML file or the JavaScript files that are downloaded onto your browsers. Uh, why is this important? Well, it's important because if you're a customer and you've purchased uh, the email validation API from a pro provider, you will get allocated a, a quota, a, a number of email validations that you can have within a particular amount of time, or maybe it's a credit-based system. Um, whichever way you, you are, you are paying for it. And the reason that that we in email hippo backed away from this was because um, it, c it can be very easy uh, for people to to, to uh, if you're a customer to rip you off um, they will they will use your um, your quota that you're paying for uh, for their own reasons and um, you know back in the day when, when we were involved in this and supporting it we would have clients come through um, many many clients come through who were, who were confused uh, and uh, about the amount of email validations that, that they'd used because they thought they hadn't used very many uh, and their, their account was depleted um, and the reason was that um, they were being ripped off uh, by by other people uh, accessing you know their, their email validations either either in a manual way or in a in a scripted way and uh, when we started email hippo we took a took a decision that that was unacceptable um, so whilst it, it removed some of the functionality, 
to have client side validation. On the upside, uh, it, it did uh, uh, enable us to um, offer customers a, uh, a secure um, API experience, particularly in terms of their quota utilization. Uh, so what they thought they were using was pretty much what they are using because there was no opportunity to to to, uh, to get ripped off there. Um, so let me uh, go into the detail of this. The um, this will be of interest to to, to technical people, but I'm, I'm I'm sure if you're not not technical, you'll you'll get some value out of this as well. Um, so just very very quickly, looking at this secured API endpoint here on this provider, uh, I've done a uh, I've done a, a hack. Um, I will provide the file for this in a, in a central location. It'll be a link at the bottom of the video. Uh, if you're technical, please feel free to you know, download and see how it's done. But essentially what we're doing is this, is we are spoofing the email yo-yo domain. Uh, what does that mean? It means that we are pretending to be uh, running at this domain, uh, where in fact we're not. And uh, it's really easy to do. There's one edit to do in uh, a file on, on your uh, local desktop and then you host this file on a local web server and you can pretend to be at this domain. Uh, so let's have a look. So bear in mind this is a paid for uh, API and if I enter in an email address, so I'm going to do that same one, uh, test at gmail.com and then I hit submit. Actually, actually, let me let me just refresh this because that's uh, probably not a fair test. Okay, so that's now empty the request and response. So I'm going to do test at gmail.com, which is already there. Just pull it up. Request response. So there we are. Uh, the response that's come back uh, on that API has been successful. I've by bypassed the access control list security that's in place, and I have been successful in uh, obtaining free email validation services. So this is this is why um, the domain access control list security uh, does not and cannot work um, for these type of services. Again, again, uh, you can obviously use a license key, uh, but that needs to be embedded into into client code. And that's also insecure. I guess what you know what is what is the solution to this? <clears throat> there are two solutions to make this secure. Number one, you can use some sort of token-based authentication, uh, which makes the the whole integration immensely complex. Um, and for most people, it will be uh, sort of beyond their, uh, you know, a, a, a basic level of, of of technical ability that 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 you would need. Otherwise, um, token-based authentication requires advanced some advanced effort, and it takes a, a long time. Um, you could use some sort of basic authentication. Uh, again, fairly complex to do that. Um, uh, yeah, so 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 those those are really the only viable options for for securing these endpoints. Um, other than that, the other only other option you've got is to is to go along the lines of server to server integration, uh, which is what we've chosen to do at Email Hippo. So I'm going to wrap this up now, guys. Um, and I hope this has been useful to explain uh, why we don't do or support client-side integration, and to describe some of the uh, some of the, the the massive security holes uh, that, that 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 are exposed um, when uh, when vendors choose to go down this path. Uh, so uh, yeah, I hope that's been useful. If you've got any questions, then um, please pop those at the bottom of the video and I'll do my best to answer those. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, you can uh, drop us a support ticket at uh, help at emailhippo.com or you can uh, use our Twitter account to drop us a line there. Uh, all of those are linked from our website at uh, www.emailhippo.com and uh, my name's Roland from Email Hippo and I'm going to sign off and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.